All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of all shapes, sizes, and ages. Josh Powell here. You're watching Amateur Pool. Uh, we're going to do a pattern play drill, I guess. Not really a drill, just something fun. I'm going to break this uh, eight ball rack and we're going to talk our way through it. Let me know down below if you like this kind of thing. I did another video like this and it got fairly good response. So appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. And let me know what we want to see in the future. So I'm going to start this off with a second ball break. <clears throat> About one ball width away from the, the edge of the rail. I'm going to aim for that second ball as full as I can without hitting the first ball. I'm going to use bottom right. Nice smooth stroke. You know, you'd rather hit it smooth and solid instead of hard. All right, we're playing BCA rules, so that means it's open after the break. Um, let's not make it take it. So looking this rack over, both ball sets look pretty good here. There's not too many problems. At first glance, this looks like a problem, but realistically, that 15 is so close. If the cue ball is up in here anywhere, you can hit the 13 into the 15. Um, the, the two ball goes that way once the five ball is gone. I don't think the two ball will fit in there doesn't look like it so I just need to see what my starter shot is here and uh, build a run out from there I'm thinking stripes because the best starter shot I got is this this uh, nine ball it's the one I like best I don't want to cut one of these into the side I don't want to play a combo I don't like anything else here so I'm gonna cut that nine and take stripes could bank it as well but I, I like the cut because I'm gonna graze off the 14 and just roll up this way. The 14 is going to sit up for me here. And I may roll up far enough to shoot the 10 next and follow up here for the 13, uh, the 13 into the 15. So let's start with that nine and see where we go from there. All right, do I got the, I don't like the 13 into the 15 from over here because it's, that's a hard, I've, I have to cut it like basically over 90 degrees if I do that. So I don't like shooting the 10 from here because it's a blind pocket for one. Uh, for two, it's going to send the cue ball that way into those balls, which could end up blocking my 11. So I'm going to shoot this 14 right now, but I need to start getting more precise with these shapes because I'm running out of balls to, to, to shoot at willy nilly like. So I want to shoot this with top. I want to shoot it with right. I want to be able to come here and spin over into here and then out up into here. So I have to decide, do I want to hit it harder and try to come up table here for the 13? I might get blocked by that eight. Or do I want to be more precise and get up into here for the 10, which I can shoot with bottom to come over here for the 13? I think I'm going to go for the 10 which means I just want to be right around this 11 ball. So I want to use top. I think if I run into the 11 ball, I'll still be okay as long as I don't run into it hard. So that's my, that's my goal. So my, that's my spot. You know, I want to try to be right where that 11 ball is at. I'd like to be in front of the 11 ball a little bit. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Now I got to cut this 10 into there and I'm going to use bottom with left spin. The bottom's going to bring me back this way and the left spin hopefully is going to bring me right down into here. Just got to be cautious with this shot for sure. A lot can go wrong, especially when you're me. That's okay. I don't mind bumping it. I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. All right, guys. So now we can make this 15 pretty easy. And what, what's cool about where we're at here is we just skim the 15, knock it in, push the 13 out to here, and we're going to be right here for the 15 or the 13, or I'm sorry, the 11 or the 13. Probably shoot the 11 first with draw, and then shoot the 13 and stop here for the 8. 
but let me double check first that that eight goes past this uh, five ball in the corner. If not, I have to think of a new plan. All right, it's tight. It does go though, it's tight. Since it's tight, I'm gonna look for another option. I like the eight in the side from here, believe it or not, because the two kind of makes this a bigger pocket. So depending on where I end up here, I might try shaping for the eight up here, but it does go up in this corner as well if I need it. It's nice and easy here. Okay. All right. Now I can actually just do like a slight draw here and shoot this in the other side with follow and come off this rail back over here for the eight. I could also stun out to here and get this angle and then stun up into here when I make the 13 in the side. So I need to make a firm decision before I shoot this, otherwise I'll end up going like halfway in between both of them. I think I'm gonna do the draw and shoot the 13 here. I like that a little better. So I just wanna draw a little bit. Right about to, right about to here would be perfect. Let's see how I did. I think I'm close. It might be a little steeper than I wanted. It is steeper than I wanted. Dang it, that makes this a lot harder. All right, so the angle I have here now, I can't really follow. I'm gonna bump that too. And the cue ball is gonna end up over here somewhere. Um, but if I hit this with a little tiny bit of draw, I can get the cue ball to come here and then bounce up that way, which will also lead me to that same shot. So that's what I gotta do. It's a lot harder, but that's what you get when you mess it up and you're not perfect with your shapes. So let's see if we can execute this. All right, didn't work out exactly as planned, but I got up there, so I have a shot. I could shoot it over there into that blind pocket, and I could also still cut it into here. Remember, we talked about that two ball it makes this pocket a lot bigger because I can actually shoot it this direction and still make it. I don't have to cut it dead in. I could be sloppy with it, and as long as I nick that two, I should go in. So I think that's what I'll do. That'll do. All right, we're going to call the eight in the side here. Bang. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the old run out. Wasn't no break and run, right? Because I scratched and I suck. But um, hey, if you like hanging out with me while we do this, let me know and we'll do it some more. But uh, if you don't like it, still hit the damn subscribe button and the like button. Leave a comment. Appreciate you guys. Peace.